Hi, I'm Alan. Welcome to Drawing From Home, the bonus round. We've been talking about value drawings using charcoal. There are two systems that we have to cover. There is the additive process of adding charcoal to the paper. There's the subtractive process of taking charcoal away from the paper using your eraser. Now, normally we use these two methods together in this hybrid system. That's the most normal way of drawing. You add marks, you erase marks. It makes sense. So if you start with just a white piece of paper to do that with, you first have to kind of build up and get rid of, cover up all the white of the paper so that you're not leaving behind white spaces that just thought of as blank or placeholders. There's no blank in a value drawing. It all counts as light. To start, we're going to gray out this piece of paper. That means we're going to cover it in charcoal, wipe it down with the chamois, and then start a drawing by sketching, drawing, gesturing, but then pulling the light back out of it with the eraser. Here I'm graying out the drawing by, by applying a layer of vine charcoal, then a layer of compressed charcoal, then shamming down the entire thing. I'm not going for black, I'm going for a nice mid-tone to dark gray. From here, you develop the drawing as normal. You gesture, you measure, you build, you add in some dark values, all with the vine charcoal. As the drawing keeps going, you'll go to compressed. Then you carve in the areas of light with the eraser. You add in wherever light strikes anything in your window, anything in the, the box that you've made as what's gonna be your, your, your drawing. Anything that light hits, you carve out with your eraser. That's the subtractive nature of this, where you're taking dark away. Scale is not a factor in this process. You can use this process for big drawings, small drawings, it doesn't matter. I recommend for your first time trying it, go smaller than a full sheet, smaller than you normally would, so you can really focus on the process instead of trying to cover square inches. So here I've made my drawing about the size of a sheet of notebook paper, so you can take a ruler or whatever you have and trace out a rectangle about the size of a sheet of notebook paper for your drawing. Remember, this is a value drawing, not a coloring book. So, no big black outlines around everything, no filling in shapes. It's working this value against that value. You should not use big black outlines or light outlines to separate this object from that object. Don't worry about having it make sense. Solve it through light and shadow. Sometimes you have to put down a big area of dark, just put some charcoal down, and then go back and clean it up with your eraser. You can cut your eraser down to make a sharper and sharper tool. You can sand down your charcoal to make it a sharper tool. But no, no going through and outlining it as you're drawing. You build up using charcoal, you brush down, you carve out with the, the eraser, you brush down, back and forth, back and forth. Just a quick drawing. Everything that you see in that zone counts. Every square inch of paper in that zone is part of your drawing. You have to have a value assigned to it. Keep it simple. Five values, you know, this dark, this light, and everything in between. I'm worried about the big areas of light and dark. Not so much the shiny highlights, but this is light, this is mid-tone, this is shadow. The big cars. Okay, go. Draw. Go play. Go.